Hey everyone, it's Rob Nazari with Talk Android, and we have Joel from Motorola to tell us about the brand new Droid 4. Absolutely, so this is Droid 4. We're building off the heritage of Droid 2 and Droid 3. You'll see that this is really kind of taken Droid 3 and given it a much uh, larger screen. So we got a 4.0 QHD display, great, really vibrant. Um, we've also kept it very, very thin though for side slide recording. We've kept it very, very thin. We've included some soft grip texture in the back, so it's got great fit in the hand. Similar to the Droid Razor, we've got the HD uh, 1080p video capture and playback, as well as an 8 megapixel camera in the back. We have the front facing webcam right there, it has a 1.3 uh, megapixels. Something that we've really done though is really dialed up the QWERTY. You can see here that the QWERTY now is a full five row, dedicated numbers row. Something that we've really done is match this and mimic the PC keyboard. So we've taken the PC keyboard that everyone's familiar with and put it onto this size. We've spaced them out and we've, we've tested this against all of our competitors, a lot of the other previous Droid keyboards, and this by far tested much, much higher um, in speed and accuracy. Something else we've done is we've actually laser cut the keys, enabling it to have LED edge lighting. You can see here, let me get the activator there. You can see the keyboard actually lights up with LED. We, we cut it on the edge, give it a much brighter, so you can text and type anytime, day or night. It's got all the same great software. Um, it's got Motocast, which is uh, Motorola's exclusive software enabling you to stream your remote PC content, whether it's music, uh, pictures, videos, files, all to your phone without taking up memory on the phone, as well as Smart Actions, uh, which is a great experience that allows you to do more with your phone than just take calls. We have a few sample rules here. We have the workout rule, it's triggers and actions. So Smart Actions actually can be as simple as a headphone jack going in and launches your music application. Something nice, nice to this is battery extender. What battery extender does is gives you a chance to kind of optimize um, the battery setting. So for instance, if you were to try to, as the battery goes lower and lower and lower in depth, you can actually optimize the phone to whether it's dimming the display or slowing down the data or toggling it down. This is a great job of taking that battery and squeezing out as much as we can. So this is Droid 4. Um, 1.2 gigahertz processor, uh, full gig of RAM, a full five row PC keyboard, and a full 4.0. So this is Droid 4 by Motorola. Coming over the next few weeks in the field with Verizon. Thank you very much.